Coach, you're into the final kind of home stretch of this uh, five game road trip, two games against the Grand Rapids Griffins. Before we get to tonight's matchup, just wanted to loop back to Tuesday's game against the Milwaukee Admirals. 5 1 loss for your team right in until the third period. What did you see happen for your team in that final frame? Uh, uh, we just had a couple uh, just let up for a second and uh, they capitalized uh, on their chances. So, uh, but we played hard that whole game. Uh, we had some good efforts for some guys. And, uh, you know, overall, we were pretty happy with uh, some of our team's play. Uh, we had a lot of good things out of that. So we just got to carry that uh, into tonight's game. Yeah, it would have been real easy for that third period to really get away from you. But it seemed like even after surrendering that third goal, you were able to find some solid pushback. So what do you attribute that to and uh, being able to get on the pressure? Well, it's just, uh, you know, there's no quit in our team. I think our guys just, uh, they realize, you know, it doesn't matter what the score is. We've got to play the same way all the time. Uh, that's just training your body and your mind to do that game in and game out. And we're going to need that by the end of the year. So it's good to see it early in the year. Seems like there's been some lessons learned on this road trip, whether it was a couple in Texas or the latest kind of knowing that you need to be at the top of your game for a full 60 minutes. So is this road trip kind of an opportunity to let some of those lessons percolate through the group? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's uh, learning lessons every night. Uh, you know, if you go back to Texas, you get a you have a three goal lead and, and it can diminish uh, very quickly uh, if you let up. So. Uh, I think our guys are uh, realizing that stuff. Those, those types of uh, things happen in this league uh, and things happen very quickly. So it's real good to have those types of things happen to your team for those learning experiences so you can fall back on them uh, later on in the year. In that game, Tyler Boland got into his first game of the season in the American Hockey League. What did you see from the centerman? Uh, he's a smart player. Uh, he knows where to be on the ice. Uh, you know, the first games are always, you know, he got a little, probably a little bit nervous, uh, nervousness running through his veins, but uh, he settled in and he played well. I mean, looking at your team throughout this road trip, it, it seems like it, it really has been a fight to generate offense some nights and uh, other nights it's been coming pretty easily. So where do you find that consistency? Yeah, I think some nights, uh, you know, it's execution. You want to play fast, but, uh, you know, if you're not connecting on a few passes, it, it turns into a little bit of a sluggish game for us. So uh, we've been concentrating that on that in practice, uh, putting passes on the tape, because when you do that, uh, your team looks a lot faster. Uh, you can get on top of teams, and then we can get on the forecheck a lot more easily because our guys are in the right spots uh, rather than recovering for turned over pucks. It seems like uh, your defense is slowly but surely getting a little more depleted. A couple of injuries back there, a couple of call-ups. And uh, what responsibility goes to the forward group to kind of help those guys out when uh, you have some guys maybe playing in some roles that they weren't before? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, we just have to be connected. Uh, we have to have five guys back on breakouts hard. We, you know, we always talk about five in the picture when we watch video. So if we can see our five guys there, we got good support. That just helps out our D. And, uh, you know, going to our D, it's a good opportunity for a couple guys to get in some games and a good opportunity for us to see what they can do.